Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor, here with my father, Kevin. And today we are doing the Arctic Monkeys. What do you know about this? You're going to ask me, and I know nothing. I know (laughs) they are monkeys and they are from the Arctic. That's it. That's all I know. Actually, I know that they're, I think they're from the UK. I'm guessing. Yes, they are from the UK. UK based, yeah. Um, do you know any of their music? Have you heard any of their songs? I've never heard a single track. The only thing is that you showed me uh, an album and a concept album that I thought was really cool. I, I told you about it. I didn't show it to you. Well, you sh- didn't we see the cover? Yeah, yeah, but I didn't like play it for no, you. No, no, no. I saw the cover and it looked really cool, right? Yes. Uh, that's it. Don't know their music. Don't know what anything about them. I don't even... I'm, you, you've probably heard a song or two you think off, so? off their biggest record. Before we get started, if you guys want to check out this video completely uncut with uh, no skips or anything, uh, you can check it out on our Patreon. It's $2 a month. You also get access to our Discord and some other content on there. So feel free to check that out. Track number one, Brian Storm. Holy fuck. Oh, this is right in my rock alley, man. Yeah. Floor toms. Fuck, this is great, man. <laughs> what a way to wake me up. That you know that's I look so yeah. to kiss someone to kick you there's not a nail you could slip through Oh this is intense <laughs> man That was fucking hot Oh man <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for that <laughs> That was that was an opening track of Thunder. Yes, yeah, very powerful, very strong right out the gate. Absolutely unequivocally beautifully mixed. Beautifully mixed. Everything was in the right place not to hurt your ears. Yeah, well that's what I said mid track. I was like yeah. it's, it's not heavy to the point that it's actually annoying to listen to. You yeah. know, it, it's, it comes out really strong on this record, but it's not, you know, piercing your ears. Track number 2, Teddy Picker. Uh, this would be a good live band, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good line. Yeah. 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 Fuck, they're tight, eh? Fuck, I can see. <laughs> I can totally. See me playing on a stage with a shitload of people with this. This would be your style if you were uh, playing with a band? Y- yeah. Like. See, it's void of sense, but it's it's got that it fucking that thing about it, man. Fuck, I gotta say, two tracks in, I am a Arctic Monkeys fan. I was gonna say Arctic Char, that's the fish. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fish. <laughs> I'm an Arctic Char fan. I am an Arctic Char. Uh, that was hot as hell. I, I need to know what the teddy picker is. Can I get the gist of the song? Mm. I just don't know what a teddy picker is. I can look that up, right? Yeah. Because it's, uh, what is it? It should say what a teddy picker is, right? But, um,. Ah, it's so yeah. so tight, so rocking. No, there was no wasted shit in that song. Yeah, no, it's it, the tracks are relatively short. You know, it's not yeah. like these these uh, five minute cuts that are just kind of they have space that yeah. is just being filled for this. You know, for that reason. Yeah. But it's a uh, very clean, mixed perfectly. Um, 
I I needed this this morning. Yeah. No, I did. To wake up. No, I just, I'm fucking Jonesing. Yeah. I want to flip the table. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. No. It's a. Uh, I love that track. I love yeah. the, I love the way it starts in that groove. It's just, it, it the, goes through the whole time and you're just like, it's just addicting. Yeah. And the, the lyrics are great. Like there's little things I don't get, I, but I love the, I love the bollocks. I love the, all, all the British things in there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Which you're catching. Right. Track number three is titled D is for dangerous. <laughs> nice shots. He loves that. Yeah. Title drop. I feel like a real fuck not knowing this band, man. <laughs> Seriously. I could. I'm surprised you didn't hear them. I'm surprised you didn't hear them back then because this just sounds like something you would have listened to. Oh, first I would have in this 2007. Going. With some nice feedback. And the, I love how the vocal mixes change throughout the song. I was just going to say that and hear how they brought the harmonies in. Mm-hmm. Hold that. Yeah. Oh, man. These guys. Three. Number three. Yeah, that's track three. Fucking ace. All three. <laughs> so far, yeah. All three are like, boom. Is this going to be a no skipper, man? Uh, to me, it's it's a wow. no skipper. Um, I need some tea right now. Yeah, no. Um, like you were saying, I, I'm surprised you. Uh, I, I know you, like you said, you you hadn't been exploring music around this time. You know when this bit, yeah album would have came out, but it sucks because this is something that you probably, if someone would have shown you this, like say, hey, give this a listen. Yeah, uh, kind of similar how you found like bands band of skulls and stuff like that yeah that you was know? that was all given to me given like to people saying hey check this out or yeah even david gray was was that too, david right? gray was that too a lot of people walked up and just said burnt cd and said hey check this out i yeah. know you're gonna love it and then i just fell in love with it right so i think if somebody would have had this on cd and said hey kevin you gotta listen to i this. would have been cranking it right now seriously yeah, you it's, there's you know there's some sometimes like you 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 press too hard and things get irritating but this is the whole it's lyrically they're short not huge, big, fucking fluffy choruses. They're, yeah. they're cor- the, the breaks are really cool. The 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 thirty seconds on the hi hats. Yeah, like it's really fucking talented band, man. Really, really talented band. Track number four, Balaclava. Running out for the next door's garden before the hour is done. It's more a question of feeling than it is a question of fun. Oh, we'll blood run down the face of a boy who went to the school. Little fucking hats again, eh? Ah, see? Those are, those are. Here? Yeah. Are you pulling her from a burning building or throwing her to the sharks? Now the shaggers perform and the daggers are drawn. Who's the crooks in this? Ah, Bob, great, great line there, man. That's right. That is really nice. I can look at I knew you would love the drums. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Fuck me. This is wicked, man. Pick it, pick it up. Oh, he can get high. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is fucking, it's you, orgasmic. I knew you would love this. Fuck, <laughs> man. That's number four? That's number four. <laughs> four for four. Four for four, man. That was, that's four for four. Drumming, everything, lyric. I love the, I love, love, the love. Line. That's right. Won't let her out of her side. Now that shaggers perform and the daggers are drawn, who's the crooks in this crime? Yeah, that's such that a cool phrasing in the line is just it's fantastic, phenomenal. man. Phenomenal. And uh, and then that when it picks up, yeah. speed they go like double the speed. Oh, that, that, 
But then I thought, how are they gonna? I thought they were gonna drop back down. Mm. They they picked up the tempo, and then I thought, how are they gonna get back into that chorus? But they they just ca- fucking carried it to the end. Yeah, they yeah. brought it right up and carried it to the end. These guys are hot, man. Yeah, one eight hundred, hot, hot, hot. You guys, <laughs> man. Track number five, fluorescent adolescent. Oh, beautiful again, man. God, these got a got they got a bit of ska, eh? A little bit, yeah. yeah. In this track. You used to get it in your fish nets. Now you only get it in your night dress. Discard all the naughty nights for niceness. Let's go. Remember when you used to be a rascal. I like this. All the boys are slag. The best you ever had. The best you ever had is just a memory and those dreams. But as daft as they seem, flicking through a little book of sex tips. Remember when the boys were all electric. It's a sad song, actually. Yeah, yeah. and it's the first song with a, a little bit of a style shift. Yeah. Not as aggressive as the other ones. Yeah, but great. Ah, amazing track, amazing track. And I just want to say, last night, your mother and I were sitting on the deck. I was having a pale ale. She was having a bourbon. And we were chatting about old days. And um, one of the things we said was uh, one of our, I was telling the story, one of our patrons Mm -hmm. is coming to Vancouver next week Mm -hmm. with his girlfriend and asked for some recommendations, okay? Mm -hmm. And I went on there and I'm like, like where to eat and blah, blah, blah. Where can you see live music? And I'm going through and I'm like, oh man, I, I, I said to your mom, and she's like, we don't go out anymore. Like yeah. we don't go out anymore. We, like we don't know where to go. And that's why it was hard for me to give recommendations. And I had to Google and look and read it and stuff like that. And this song sort of hits the mark. It's <laughs> yeah. because it was you getting older and, and things changing, right? Yeah, over time. Over time. And, and just uh, like, you know, just the, just the lines in there. Track number six. Only ones who know. Fuck. Wow. Good stuff happening here. Real 1950s Fender reverb sound, eh? <laughs> yeah. In a foreign place, the same. Hearing his Kant in the mm. his accent. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful haunty sound. Yeah. That was beautiful. I like that. That followed up a, a track that lightened up. Well, I was just going to say, it, it, I think it goes perfectly because if you went from Balaclava to that, it would be like, what the fuck is this? Exactly. But that was perfect placement. F- fluorescent was kind of a yeah, a really good bridge to this track here. Yeah. Um, so very well done. Beautiful, on- beautiful track. Another one that evoked emotions. Uh, uh Strange is how it does that. Right? You were saying the guitar sounds like. Oh, what? it just no. It, I I pictured it as like um, you know that you you probably heard them, but like the nineteen fifties ballads, they got a ton of reverb. It's a big body, it's a big hollow body, and it's like the typical nineteen fifties, yeah. and it had that that 
it had that reverb in there, right? It just it needed a little bit of tremolo. If you had the tremolo going, and then, and then it would have been fully. Then 1950s. it would have been nineteen fifties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. His voice wasn't, but maybe his if he sang that if he was in the fifties and he had that accent. I love hearing the accent though. It's pretty cool. Like some people don't like some artists. Uh, um, don't get the you can't hear their accent in there, right? Yeah, even if they're from the. I would think of a guy like Tom York, like you can't. You, really yeah, yeah, you can't tell. Yeah. Tell you know the, just the way but he sings. But I him, don't even know if Adele. You know that I think you can't tell in Adele's no track number seven. Do me a favor. <laughs> the toms are back. Yeah. <laughs> he loves his toms, man. Not complaining. No. And they're beautiful sounding toms. Well, that bass drives this, eh? Yeah. I'm shaking something, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Space is so important, man, in music. Listen, mm. that, listen to us. She walked away while her shoes were untied And the eyes were all red Will force you to be cold Fuck. Did you crank it? No. Oh. <laughs> That was awesome, man. What a that's a breakup song that's done right. Mm -hmm. Wow, um, I like that because, like I said, with the uh, fluorescent adolescent, and then it goes into uh, only ones who know. That one is not as heavy right away as well. So it has yeah. like it's almost like it's you know that the album just flows so well. Yeah, like it's yeah. Uh, it doesn't you know just jump around from one slow track to a heavy track. So you had fluorescent which was a little slower but had the heavy drums and everything and then yeah. you go to one that has you know no drums yeah. or anything and then this one is just slowly picking up it's got the toms and, and toms at the, the beginning yeah toms at the beginning and the shaker and then the ending is when that powerful sound comes yeah. back and i want to clarify with everybody who watched just now mm -hmm. when you were doing the shaker this was the shaker i meant okay you were imitating a shaker yeah like i was like an egg one of the shaker eggs but yeah. or a tambourine okay so i just i don't want anybody going taking that and that will be a, that'll be a gift somewhere on so, <laughs> someone's gonna crop that and just have you like that <laughs> it'll be all over twitter track number eight this house is a circus Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. It's hard to say anomaly like he did. Yeah. There's a Great lines here, man. Oh, yeah. Another group change, eh? Yeah. That's a fuzzy bass, fuzzy isn't it? Bit, yeah. With dirt. That's great, eh? Yeah, the big backing vocals. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, wow. It's it you know what it drives heavy right through, man. It drives really heavy right through. Yeah, I, that's one of my favorites, and uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, wow, that was fucking hot. 
there's a lot of there's changes throughout the song um yeah court like it's you know the groove will change randomly yeah um and lyrically what would you think of that i thought it was lyrically was fantastic man it was like i i and i get like i just said you how, how the hell do you get uh and the anomaly uh, anomaly i can't i couldn't even sing it in here right yeah but he's able to do it scaling the corridors for maidens in the maze and the uh, i can't even say it because it's slipping into familiar ways Really cool track. Really banging, man. Mm. These guys are on fire musically. Track number nine. If you were there, beware. Fuck, I never know where it's going. <laughs> if I had to move to it, you wouldn't be able to predict. I wouldn't know where to go. How do you dance? Oh, wow. What a great change, man. Yeah. My God, this is so good, man! Gives me some really old U2 feel, mm. like eight, uh, like boy and yeah, early, U2. early, yeah. Just the simplicity of that part, yeah. All these little parts make make it all come together mm -hmm. if he was going straight on the hats but it's the changes in the pause yeah and everything. well they're fuck <laughs> just fucking getting shot what's that bass man i told you the bass is my it's nuts that. oh man another oh we haven't had a we had we had it, they haven't shit the bed yet. No, not yet. There's no bed shitting. <laughs> Seriously, it's it's gone. It's 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 fucking real good rock. Yeah, played really well, sung really well. It's it's really hot. Written man. really well. Everything about everything it. about it. Arctic man, monkeys. What I said? He said Arctic man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish. That sounds like a movie. <laughs> the Arctic man. Would that be a documentary? Would that be a do survival documentary or a superhero movie? What would Arctic Man do? What would his power He'd be? He'd freeze stuff. Oh, like Doctor Freeze. Yeah. Or whatever. What's his name? I don't know. Freeze in uh, in The Incredibles. In The Incredibles. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it'd be Arctic Man. Or no, you know what'd be better? He has the ability to throw fucking penguins. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> throw what, penguins. Do penguins have beaks? No, they don't. No, they don't. No. Because I'm thinking they what, can you stab people? <laughs> you could, but he penguin could, would just no. He could no. You know what? He could summons like all the polar bears and all the penguins. And they all he could talk to the man, and they, he was just come on, guys, let's go. And Isn't that what's uh, what's his name, Jim Carrey, in that movie? What's what? that movie? Is it Jim Carrey? Oh yes, where he can talk to animals. What was that? It wasn't Doctor Doolittle? Was it? Was that? It was Doctor Doolittle. No, was it really? Yeah, Doctor Doolittle. Was that Jim Carrey though? No, 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 uh, Jim. No, no, that was. Uh, what's it, Jim? Car I'm thinking of Jim Carrey. Uh, he was a detective, pet detective, and they and they come out of the fridge and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That was that was that was the pet. What, what's the one with the with the fucking something to do with a? Is it a dolphin or a whale? That's it. The, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, the, it's that's the same movie, right? Okay. okay yeah. yeah, and yeah. Dan Marino's in it, and they have to yeah, kick yeah. the football. And yeah, 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 and all yeah, that okay. kind of stuff. Yeah, that was it. That and was who, funny. Who's the one that can talk to animals? Uh, Doctor Doolittle. Okay, and who? who Eddie Murphy. That? Oh, was it Eddie Murphy? Yeah, yeah pretty yeah, sure yeah. it's Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So they're basically just Doctor Doolittle, but for Arctic animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they call, they they could also freeze things, right? Yeah. What are those uh, whales with the fucking huge horns? Narwhals. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just summon those and. Yeah, yeah. That would be Arctic Arctic Man, is it? Yeah, Arctic Man. That's yeah, Arctic Man. Do you like the track? I like the track. I do. <laughs> I, really, <laughs> I do like the track. It was great. Track number 10, The Bad Thing. Fuck. Jeez. Yeah. Nice like a whirlwind 
Somebody's girlfriend's talking to me, but it's alright she's saying that. He's not gonna slap me or try to attack me. He's not the jealous type. And I only need to get half an excuse and I'm away. Entirely sure. Fuck, this is some fast music, bro. Yeah, this one's fast right up here. Yeah. What's that? The guitars? Yeah. Go ahead here, Tim. These guys must be absolutely bagged after our show. Oh, I would be, yeah. Like, everything is up-tempo. Especially the drummer. Yeah, yeah. He's probably got fucking huge forearms. Yeah. Right <laughs> No excuse. That's a great uh, rock and rock and track, and 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 a subject that's, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, like it's, it's, a, yeah, it's it, it re, you just it's pretty easy to grasp. Pretty easy to grasp, right? Yeah, no, and the, yeah, the lyrics aren't too complex, and no. it's uh, it's no. just a, a bump and rock song. It's good, fast, very fast, very I, fast. It'd be fun to see live. It'd be fun to, if I wanted to see that live, I would like to be in a. Uh, general admission you know not, oh yeah yeah not yeah. sit it because i couldn't sit like this and just be yeah no you how are you gonna I'd have to be like yeah. in a mosh pit i'm just going i think the craziness right. also the craziness and the energy and the open of thing is it's sort of it's that head-to-head conflict with cheating you know what yeah. i mean it's got that it's that angst and that thing and that chaos and all yeah that. yeah if you know it was mean? if it was a little slower or a little more spaced out it yeah i don't think it would feel like that like between the lyrics and the, and, and that energy it's just like you know some bad shit's gonna happen like yeah you, doing you, the bad thing doing the bad thing right yeah track number 11 old yellow bricks I thought it was over and you get this cool part. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Hey, what are we at? We're track 11. Track 11. There's how many? 12, 12 tracks? Yeah, there's 12 tracks. Is this one going to shit the bed? That's the question. Because everything has been fucking great on this. The last track? Yeah. I don't know. It, it, might. it <laughs> might. It might be not a good track so we'll have to see wow that was uh that was another hot track man um the tightness of them i know this is studio but you know they recorded it live live and they they did it all right with it their 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 musicianship is is uh, absolutely top top notch track number 12 505 i'm going Back to 5.05 If it's a 7 hour flight Or a 45 minute drive Stop and wait a sec When you look at me like that My darling, what did you expect? Not shy of a spark The knife twists at the thought That I should fall short of the mark Oh, shit <laughs> I like that line. I love how he did that. God, the space in the song is the special thing man yeah for sure you don't have to fill everything all the time (laughs) 
You hear that drone? His voice really shines on this one, yeah. eh? The highs are... <laughs> wow. Okay, man, I got lots of thoughts on this. Can I talk? Yes. Did that, uh, was that 12 for 12? That, that, that song there was uh, 12 for 12 by itself. Yeah. <laughs> that was out of all the tracks on that, on this album that we've heard that showed, um, a melodic, uh, maturity mm -hmm. that I didn't hear on all yeah, the other stuff was great. Don't get me wrong. Everything was great, but I'm saying that tr track there showed this melodic maturity in the writing that was not evident. It in was the other tracks. It was in it, you. You had that feel in. Um, There's the, bits and pieces. This is pizzas and pizza. <laughs> <laughs> bits of pe bits of bits of pizzas in the other track. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot today. <laughs> no, there was bits and pieces of it of in it, the other tracks. Yeah, in the tracks. But this one really showed the maturity. Like, um, everything about it was just like the from the melodies, of the guitars, and then the way they left the space open, and then you really heard his voice like mm -hmm. go up and and really take it to the place. And I'm damn sure he can go up another notch. Mm -hmm. he, uh, um, but melodically, the, and and what they did with the guitars and the spacing and the breakdown, that's my. I don't know what now. You maybe you can explain what the the five hundred five is. But I love. I literally. I I I pictured. Uh, Somebody laying there on their side, and then when he the hands between like this, yeah, just laying laying there, there on the side. Well, it, no, it's funny because the lead singer uh, Alex Turner, I believe it was him or maybe another band member, said that that was the first track they wrote that was they considered to be a true like actual love song and like a, a great track. Like this yeah, was yeah. the one that they were the most proud of. Really, yeah, and uh, it's one of their most stream songs and for a lot of arctic monkeys fans this is their that is their best song out of really uh, yeah out of all their discography i could hear that you know and i wanted to say earlier in the tracks is that when you when you had the thump and toms and everything going on all the time it's great mm -hmm. it will get old after a while yeah. You, yeah right so with this track here this was like a, it felt for me like a new band that just like went and and aged like a, a fine wine i'm cheesy but re, like right yeah it sounds like it just they came out when this is yeah this is it like you could feel that track man and and lyrically yeah the very vivid uh imagery for sure yeah yeah and uh yeah i want to dive deeper into the lyrics on that because it's just uh i was so into the music there man yeah we can uh sum up the video and the album here so um i had a lot of fun today i had a lot fun. of fun too it was uh it was an absolute blast so uh um and there there is something you want to say right yeah i don't know if i'm going to say it on the patreon thing or whatever but it was just a conversation we had last night and <clears throat> and it's one of these things that it dawned on me last night during conversations with your with your mom after a couple of beers on the deck and it, i just want to say you know how we always talk at the end like make sure you know be safe and all that kind of stuff right mm -hmm. um these little moments that you don't realize in the in the in and i'll explain myself but these little moments you don't realize are happening right right before your eyes <clears throat> take some time and really take some time out and stop for a second and go, okay, do I really need to do this or should I just sit with the person I love? Do I need to do this or should I expend the moment? You know what I mean? Having a cup of coffee or whatever, right? Because mm -hmm. we, we were looking back on our lives and saying, you know, these moments you, you, you know, I wish I would have taken a little bit longer. Why did, why did I have to, why did I have to do this? And I could have sat 
with my dad and listened to or or, yeah. ate, or eaten this or or whatever. Right? Why did I have to go to this club? But not not even of... club, but just like little things, like the, even the, the the little moments in, in the house. We we're bad for it in, in our house. Like everybody's on a device. Yeah. Why Eat... did I have to sit on the my phone and look at Twitter when I could have chatted with my sister or my mom? Or you know you? what? It, it is so true because it's like. <clears throat> You look back in those moments from my age now, and I'm like, man, and you don't get it right now because you're young and, and you don't understand that, that that moment is, that could be gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those moments of sitting, and we do it a lot, right? But I'm just saying, like, really be cognizant of those things because uh, you will look back and you'll go, Sh- I wish I've, you know what I mean? I spent a little more time just being in the, in the in the in the zone with the person mm-hmm. right and, and instead of being uh, you know just not present st- stuck yeah. here and you know what i mean we had a point yesterday where we were all on we're see i'll throw it away <laughs> um where we're all on devices yeah right we're all sitting in devices and we're talking but it's like just we we can get rid of those those can be for nighttime or whatever or whatever but just i wouldn't even recommend nighttime no but just yeah or just you, throw you, them out use them you know sparsely throughout the day yeah yeah but it's it's just so easy to get caught up in in doing like these little things that really don't you know you're not going to look back at them when you're on your deathbed you're not going to think damn i like that time i was sitting on the couch reading tweets well exactly or or on someone else's deathbed and go man i i i sat there on the on the device and i was instead of talking to them yeah i was scrolling tiktok staring at some people cooking and i could have been doing this or whatever right yeah but anyway i I think what you said is beautiful and i think that's a great way we should end off the video um so thank you guys so much for watching um and i really hope you guys stay safe and enjoy the rest of the summer uh we still got some summer days left we're not at the end yet no right? yeah and spend some time enjoying people around you i can't stress that enough it's i sound like a preacher but um hang out with people man love them hug them do whatever you do with them but just spend time with people yeah right so take care guys stay safe and uh we'll see you very soon bye-bye peace